I know I told you my marriage was over, but my husband doesn't quite see it that way. Why does he see it? He'd be nowhere he'd let me go. John Palmer, mate. <laughs> and you are? Ah, uh, Sean. Sean Doherty. And what about you, Shane? Any kids? Ah, uh, no. No, no, no. Never married? Currently married? You can't patch things up with Gina and then interfere in my love life. Who's interfering? You are! You cannot have your cake and eat it too. How dare you take BJ out on a jet ski? Do you have any idea how irresponsible that is? You stay away from him. Do you understand? And you keep away from me too. Sorry, Dad. Okay, I won't screw this up for you. You better not. We've got a lot riding on it. You can stay here polishing glasses. I'll keep looking after your ex. Or you do something for me. I'll cut it loose. Won't have to worry anymore. No more pills. All right, I'll do your job. Doesn't this guy get a hint? Yeah, I'm kind of freaking out. So what exactly did Brack say on the phone? Well, get this. He said that he knew about Jamie, but he's never met the guy. I mean, he didn't even know that he was in town. Well, how is that possible if he and Adam are such good mates? Well, Brack said that Jamie was overseas where his mum was from. Did he also mention that his mum died? Yeah, he said that, but it was a pretty brief conversation. Tell me exactly what Brack said. That his mum was a model. She was the love of Adam's life. Jamie said it was food poisoning. Yeah, Brack said that too. And according to Jamie, his mum was having an affair with one of Adam's mates and they both ended up dead. <laughs> Brax didn't mention that. That cast a whole new light on Adam. What's going on? Leah, there's something I haven't told you. I've got to do a job for Adam. 